if we're going to take and put two shots in the spot and drive to the head, what should be the timing on that? One second. One Think second. about it. What's the first, what's the first time? 0.5. So the second shot is what? Right there, boom, boom? 75. 75. Now I have to stop, start, stop. Half a half. Half a second. So the total time would be? One, two, five. One, two, five. and a quarter one, two, seconds. So let's see what it looks like. So that's what you should be able to do, two shots in the body, knock over the head, one and a quarter seconds. I could take you right up through the four shots in the body, right up through the build drill, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, knock over the head, in the same timing. You just simply add the times. So we know that the timing on the first two shots on the body and the head, we just did that. That's one and a quarter of a second. So how much should it take me to come off of that and shoot that other spot? Well, how much time should we add to that drill? Half a second. Half a second. That's correct. So let's t see it. Okay, so let's review it, see what we got. The first one's 49 hundredths of a second. My double tap's going to be a little slow here. Second one is 26 hundredths, a little slow. Then we're going to need a half a second for the headshot. So we hit the three second pause and it's 34 seconds. There's where I got my, I got a quicker headshot than I should. And then we go to the last target. And so we hit that for a total of 46 hundredths to add, which would have been a half a second. So I gained a little bit of time on this headshot, and I gained a few hundreds of a second on this shot on the spot. So if we take it and then just keep on going, I could, I could keep on going, I could two on the body, one on the head, two on this body, one on the head. And again, when you swing over, that first shot's got to break in half a second, second shot's a quarter of a second, half a second for the head. We could go to the red wall. So where do these times finally stop? They stop just past that red wall. As soon as we get past that red wall, which is right at uh, about 12, 14 yards, uh, <laughs> is when, when those times begin to break down and we have to add an additional response time. And it's simply because the weapon has got to be a little more stabilized. Remember, I talked about in the lecture, your mind has to know what this weapon needs to look like and the sight picture needs to look like. It has to know that as soon as <coughs> I transition out here to the further targets, that I have to take and give a little bit more of a pause, a little more steady.